the reason that the industry, the advertising and design industry, is not uh, talking about issues of sustainability and ethical business practice more is because they don't have time. Now agencies, and I don't want to overstate this, but it is true, struggle to cope with the workload. Uh, and you know the talent and resources stretch very thin. So in sort of old fashioned terms, there's no R&D budget. Okay, so they're responding to immediate briefs for immediate projects. You know, the pressure is on marketing people to deliver sales results, financial results. And there isn't a lot of time to address these important new issues. E even though the CSR agenda is front and center stage, it's mainstream marketing. You know, as witness, Unilever's plan for sustainable living, that is their growth plan. So it's an issue of resource as much as anything else. Some smart agencies are getting ahead of the game and you know, are finding new vocabulary, new processes, new skills and capabilities in order to deliver what needs to be delivered. Uh, but one of the problems is that most of the strategy tools that agencies are using to develop thinking and eventually creative work were basically invented in the 60s. So it's an issue of strategy and process as much as it is anything else. And, and DNAD, through its white pencil program, one of the things that we're, we're trying to help the industry reinvent, if, if you like, are the strategy, to, the, the strategy tools to, to provide brands with purpose and to take us into this new era. Encouragingly and rather wonderfully, uh, a lot of the pressure will come from younger people, if I'm allowed to say that, in marketing uh, uh, departments and in agencies and design studios. And I think people, millennials if you like, people who've come of age this century, absolutely want to be doing good, to be, to have at least some of that in their, in their daily lives, in their da daily professional lives, uh, to feel that they're making a contribution to society, society, to sustainability, to more ethical business practices. So there is pressure building up and we are going to be driven in that direction. The only way those things are going to happen, by the way, is if companies do well out of it and their shareholders do well and so on. So that's the sort of, that's the sweet spot. That's where it'll start to become, to use the word in a different sense, self-sustaining. So I think with the client community, we're in a sort of period of transition in the past and perhaps, you know, in the present, in a lot of cases, that CSR issue was a kind of box to be ticked. I mean, without being cynical about it, you know, we'll build a playground for the local kids. And now it isn't that. And the place we're going to is, is where uh, if brands want to do well, they will have to do good because people won't buy uh, products and services from companies that they don't trust, don't like, and don't think are doing the right thing. So that's the journey we're on. And, but I think in, in the mainstream still, we're closer to where we were than where we're going to. Uh, and some agencies feel able, confident enough, bold enough to have this conversation uh, and to suggest that doing well by doing good is the new black. Uh, and some are a bit under the cosh and don't want to upset the status quo and just carry on doing what they're asked to do. Um, I, th I think the kind of you'll do well by doing good conversation can be a hard one for agencies and design studios to raise with their clients. I think it's a harder one in advertising than probably that is in the design community. And, and the reason for that is advertising is a sales tool and it's, you know, it's meant to drive sales and, you know, and profit uh, in, the, in the long term. And that's how it's used. Uh, and that's how it's judged. And that's actually how the ad industry has judged itself in, in the past. But all kinds of marketing, communication and design can be a force for good. Uh, and if doing well by doing good becomes the mainstream, then agencies are going to have to talk to their clients about, about this. And it's better if they talk to their clients about it before their clients talk to them about it, because it's better if the industry leads the conversation and leads the way.